Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Audio GPT, which is a new AI system that has been developed to help large language models process complex audio information as well as conduct spoken conversations. While LLMs have shown remarkable capabilities in many areas, they have struggled with processing audio information, which has limited their usefulness in certain applications such as virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa. Now in this little demo, I'm just going to showcase you a little breakdown as to what it's trying to do. And there's different cases as to how it will operate. You can have it sing, have it describe different tasks, have it caption certain movies or images and this is something that i'll be showcasing throughout today's video so with that thought guys if you guys haven't subscribed please do so and please like this video as it'll definitely help the algorithm out and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos i highly recommend that you do guys because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that will definitely benefit you guys so with that thought let's get right into the video approximately four hours ago audio gpt was released and it's basically for the people who do not know, it's a multi-model system that combines LLMs with foundation models that are designed to process complex audio information. And what this does is that it solves a range of understanding and generation of different tasks using their new system of audio. Now, this system also includes an input as well as an output interface, which we'll be looking at on Hugging Face, as well as a demo as to showing you how you can actually like demonstrate certain types of audio to text to sing or a text to audio in a certain way now this system basically is going to be able to have an interface where you're able to have an automatic speech recognition which is another way you can utilize this tool as well as have a text-to-speech automation and this technology is also supporting a lot of different things such as singing as well as using certain types of emotions that a human would for their actual contextual as well as its output of voice recognition. Now the goal of audio GPT is to basically enable humans to create rich and diverse audio content with ease. And this is something that we've seen in many different types of applications such as like ask anything or like uh, for example, we have, I believe, Bark right here, which is another text-to-speech application. And many of these applications are starting to refine as well as get a better understanding of how to actually get the best output of their application, whether it's with speech, or singing, or other types of audios. And now this goal with AudioGPT audio is that it's basically able to enable the same things that these other applications do, but they're able to take the next step in creating rich and diverse audio content. And that is through having it efficiently outputted without, without any problems. Now, the experimental, experimental results have been demonstrated that the system's ability to solve a variety of AI tasks related to speech, as well as music, sound, and talking head understandings and generation of multi-round dialogues. And with this, we're able to see that they're able to get a really good output with these different experiments. And we'll take a deep, deep dive into their actual paper that they talked about. Now, we're also going to take a look at some of the models as well as the chat flow of how this actually operates. We're also going to show you guys how you can actually use it. And with that thought, let's get into the next segment where we actually talk about the benefits. One of the key benefits of AutoGPT is that it empowers humans to create more sophisticated and diverse audio content than it was like previously able to do so. Now, this system is publicly available for now. And it's basically allowing developers to hope as well as to use it for research purposes as well as get a better advanced view of the audio component of the AI world and basically improving the quality of human machine interactions. Now, in terms of how this functions, well, audio GPT has four, sta uh, four stage process and we can see that in this model over here. And it basically includes modality transformations task analysis, model assignment, and response generation. Now the system is designed to work in a conjunction with ChatGPT and is equipped with audio foundation models that enables it to process complex audio tasks. And additionally, the system is connected to the modality of transformation interface that allows for spoken dialogue. Now, one thing that I wanted to note is that you will also require an open API key so that you're able to use this conjunction with GPT chat GPT sorry 
Now, basically, in this case, with the modality transformation stage, the system basically takes in various forms of audio information, whether that, if it's an input from you, whether that is through an image or a video, and, or if it's speech or a music, any type of audio input. And what it does is that it transforms it into a format that can be processed by the foundation model, which we can see over here. And the task analysis stage basically involves in determining the specific tasks that needs to be performed based off of the actual input of the audio image or other input that you actually put into the actual application. Now, from the next step, that is the model assignment stage. And in this stage, the system basically selects the appropriate foundation model to handle the given task that we gave it previously. And based off of this expertise, using conjunctions of chat gpt as well as other models it handles it in different types of audio information and then finally in the response generation stage the system then gives it the output of what you were trying to look for in the modality transformation stage and this is something that is quite unique and something that i'll show you in the demo later on and this is something that they released on their Twitter, Twitter actual account. And I want you guys to watch this little clip as it's not that long and you'll get a better understanding of what it actually is. So with that thought, let's get right into this. I'm happy to help you. Here we go. I'm happy to help you. Here we go. Here we go. Now, personally, guys, if you saw, there's different inputs that are given to the actual application, and it gives you the output from the model that we described. Now, these are some of the things that we can see in cases of an input of an image, input of a certain event that is happening, as well as a text-to-speech system that is given. And these are some of the things that you can check out with the application. Now, in terms of how to actually use the actual application, what you will do is go on to this link and I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access it. So what you will need to do is go on to open APIs keys and what you want to do is generate your own selective key. And obviously you need to make sure that you have tokens installed with this key so that you are able to utilize and actually use the application. Now, once you copy your key, you can paste it into this. And what you have to do is click enter and then it will prompt you to this page where you can prompt certain things by such as generate a speech with text. Here we go. Or you can do anything like in case input anything that you want it to actually output with the audio. You can also upload your own pictures or videos. And this is something that is quite unique. Uh, I believe not the video aspect is there at the current moment but it's something that they're actually working on so i highly recommend that you check that aspect out later on now in terms of its limitation guys obviously there's certain things that are at a limit and that is some of the things that we'll be talking about as every complex audio application has these problems and that is the prompt engineering aspect of it the reason why I say this is because AudioGPT relies on ChatGPT to connect a large number of foundation models, and this requires prompt engineering to describe the audio foundation models in natu natural languages. Now, this process can be very time consuming and requires a lot of tokens, and this is very like extensive on the hardware and it limits the ease of use from the actual system. Now, this is one of the actual limitations that they actually emphasize on their paper. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is the length limitation. There's actually a maximum token length in ChatGPT as well as with this application. So you're not able to tune in with the speech input with that is very big. So you're not able to input a text or an image that is quite large as it's going to not be able to process that actual input. Now, this is also going to impact the user's context 
instructions as well as it's going to take a longer time to get used to actually inputting smaller prompts so this is something that they're going to continuously work towards but it is some of the limitations that i wanted to emphasize with this actual application and lastly in terms of the supposed task in audio gpt i wanted to emphasize a little bit on some of the models that are being associated with the different tasks now we talked about some of the conjunctions such as chat gpt being used for the actual foundation models but there's other applications that are used for different inputs and outputs to be generated in this case with the speech recognition they use whisper and there's different applications we can see over here that are correlated with different junctions and tasks now for audio and payment there's different ones such as a system or a model that is making audio and these are some of the things that you can actually take a deeper dive in with their actual research paper. So I highly recommend that you check this out, guys, because there's a lot of information and a lot of analysis as to what they're trying to accomplish and their future roadmap. Now, this is a quite unique project, guys. And overall, AudioGPT is going to be an amazing tool that will be quite beneficial for a lot of people. And this is going to be quite useful for processing complex audio information as it's important to be aware of the limitations. But it is also quite like useful to use certain applications like this in the future for different tasks that will basically ease your day-to-day -day tasks. And with that thought, guys, I hope you found this video quite informative. Please give this uh video a like as well as the people who contributed to this actual project definitely give it a shout out as well as a like i'll leave all these links down in the description below so thank you so much for watching guys please subscribe turn on the notification bell and if that with that thought guys thank you so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll catch you guys next time peace out fellas